Hey guys, it's Jen C. Welcome to my channel. Here you'll find videos about family-friendly programming. Today I'm going to talk about this year's Summer Nights movie lineup for the Hallmark Channel. I'll read each movie's description. I'll mention which actors are starring in these movies and I'll also mention what I'm most excited to see on these projects. The first movie of Summer Nights premiered last week on July 27th and that was Rome in Love, starring Italia Ricci on her Hallmark Channel debut and Peter Porte from Love at the Shore and A Gift to Remember. The description for Rome in Love says, When an unknown actress lands the role of a lifetime in Rome, paired with an American journalist writing a profile, she will discover surprises about love and life in the eternal city. This movie is in Italy. I've always wanted to go to Italy. It's high on my bucket list. I mean, what better location? It's so gorgeous and there's so much history to learn from. Like I've mentioned on previous videos um, about Hallmark Channel filming locations is that they do such a great job in transporting the audience to the place that they're filming in and these location movies are just amazing. I also love the fact that it's a retelling of Roman holiday. I love Audrey Hepburn, one of my favorite movies actually is um, Breakfast at Tiffany's, so the fact that they use Roman holiday as an inspiration, um, it's so cool. I've seen Italia Ricci in other projects beforehand, so I'm familiar with her work and I think she's really awesome. Next we have Love and Sunshine from here on August 3rd and it stars Danica McKellar, the Hallmark legend. Some of my favorite movies of her are Wedding Bells and Love and Design. Tell me if you have a Danica McKellar favorite movie, tell me in the comments below. Starring alongside her is Mark Declan who we've seen in Christmas at Evergreen, Letters to Santa, and Switch for Christmas. The description for Love and Sunshine says, Allie Craig has been fostering retired military dog Sunshine as she recovers from a broken engagement. But sparks fly again when Sunshine's military partner, Jake Terry, returns to claim the dog. If you guys have seen the preview show, there's a golden retriever in this movie and that makes me very happy. Danica and Mark look so great together. I also like the fact that they included you know, the military service dogs and the whole topic of that and the importance of them as well. Next on August 10th, I'm so excited for this movie. Um, it's called The Taste of Summer and it stars Rosaline Santis on her Hallmark Channel debut and Eric Winter who we know from Finding Santa. The description for A Taste of Summer says, Gabby moves to Bright Shore where she opens a restaurant and rediscovers her passion. Upon arrival, she encounters Caleb, a former baseball player with a competitive streak who owns his own restaurant. So they're like, there's going to be some competition in this movie. So first of all, I have to say this. Rosalind Sanchez. She's Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican. Um, she's very beloved here. There's gonna be someone like me on the Hallmark channel. That is amazing. A Puerto Rican actress. I love it. I love that Hallmark has been adding more Latino actors and I hope to see more of that and just people of color in general. I love that Rosalind and Eric are in this movie and you know they're married in real life. So that's going to be very interesting and they're going to have like chemistry like off the bat. I'm also looking forward to seeing Grayson. She plays Emily on One Calls a Heart and it's so cool that she's going to be in this movie. After A Taste of Summer, we have A Summer Romance on August 17. Yes, I'm super excited for this one too. It stars the lovely Erin Krako from One Calls a Heart and the Father Christmas movies. Alongside her is Ryan Pavey who we know for the Mr. Darcy movies and Heart of Love and many other projects. The description for A Summer Romance says, Samantha's Montana Ranch is her family's legacy. So when a developer shows up to buy it, Sam isn't interested. But as he tries to win her trust and her ranch, Sam finds he might also be winning her heart. So one of the things that I love of this movie is the cast is so good. Alongside Aaron and Ryan, uh, we have Sarah Strange and Kevin O'Grady, who we know for Garage Sale Mysteries, Jeff Gustafson, like shout out to the Postables, he's from Science Field Delivered, who have a new movie out in 2020. And we also have Ava Grace Cooper from One Calls a Heart. So looking forward to it. If you guys saw the little clip that they showed on the Summer Nights preview, it's hilarious. And I knew I was gonna love the movie beforehand, but I saw the clip and I was like, this movie is gonna be so great. Next on August 24th, we have All Summer Long starring Autumn Racer. Hallmark legend as well. Um, 
But some of my favorite autumn racer movies are Bramble House Christmas, Love on the Menu, A Country Wedding, and many others. Starring as well in All Summer Long is Brendan Elliott, who we know from the All of My Heart movies and the Crossword Mysteries. The description for All Summer Long says, When Tia Larkin's uncle and aunt inherit a vintage yacht, all she can think about is becoming its captain in their new business venture, a restaurant cruise around the San Francisco Bay. That sounds so great. The job all seems like a dream come true until Tia realizes that the restaurant's new chef is her ex-boyfriend, Jake Jarrett. I love Autumn Reeser and Brennan Elliott. I mean, I'm really looking forward to seeing them together in this movie and seeing their dynamic. Last but not least, on August 31st, we have My One and Only, starring Pascal Hutton from One Calls a Heart. I love Pascal. And the Perfect Bride movies, which are amazing as well. We also have Sam Page from Walking the Dog and The Story of Us. The description says, after being passed up for a promotion at work and learning of her ex-fiance's approaching nuptials to his best friend, Stephanie reluctantly agrees to be a contestant on the popular reality dating TV show, The One. There's not much info about this movie yet on the Hallmark website, but I am super excited, you guys. I'm always looking forward to seeing Pascal as the leading lady, and Sam Page is very charming, so yeah. Like I mentioned for Love Take Two, the movie that premiered on this year's June Weddings, that I really like to see a movie where it includes production inside of production, because the movie um, includes the reality dating TV show. So that's going to be really interesting. And I like movies that in its storyline includes like a production of some kind. Yeah, so those are the movies for this year's Summer Nights movie lineup. I am super excited for them, as you can tell. Summer Nights already began on July 27th, so every Saturday now during the month of August, you'll catch a new Summer Nights movie, so don't miss out on them. Go ahead and write to me on Twitter at I am underscore Jelsey and let me know which movie you're loving, what details you enjoyed about them. Just write to me. Yeah, go, follow me. And also let me know in the comments below which movie you're most looking forward to seeing. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. It would mean so much to me if you do. And also hit the bell so you can be notified whenever I publish a new video. So I'm really looking forward to summer nights. So see you guys next time. God bless. Bye.